Some of the foreign to-do list includes trade deals with Asia and Europe, accords to battle global warming, and at least some success in rolling back Islamic State militants. The president will attend a trio of summits in Beijing, Myanmar, and Australia. Secretary of State John Kerry meeting with Iran's foreign minister and top European diplomats in an effort to get both sides closer together on Iran's nuclear program. Of course, but Laura Jakes is in Oman. The United States is hopeful that things can happen, but they are setting pretty low expectations right now. They're saying that there are still pretty real gaps that remain between world powers and Iran on actually being able to get a deal done. And with two weeks left, it's not clear that they can get something done. Now, some of the other world powers are a little more optimistic. 25 years ago today, East and West Berliners used sledgehammers and jackhammers to tear down the Berlin Wall, touching off a celebration across the city. And today... Chancellor Angela Merkel, who grew up in East Germany, says the fall of the wall shows that human longing for freedom can't be suppressed forever. A chance remark by Mexico's attorney general during a news conference about 43 missing college students has taken up, been taken up by protesters demanding an end to corruption and drug gang violence. Investigators say the mayor of a town near the student's college and his wife ordered police to confront the students. Six were killed before police turned the 43 others over to the drug gang. This is AP Radio News. Just a few days after the midterm elections and the Sunday talk shows include the guessing game of who might run for president in 2016. Wisconsin Republican Governor Scott Walker tells NBC's Meet the Press. He was ending an hour... I said my plan was for four years. I've got a plan to keep going for the next four years. Um, but, you know, certainly I care deeply about not only my state, but my country. We'll see what the future holds. In an interview with CBS Face the Nation, former President George W. Bush is giving even odds that his brother, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush, will try for the GOP nomination in two years. More than possible computer problems lurk as healthcare.gov's second open enrollment season begins next Saturday. While the new website is ready, many of those who have to renew their insurance coverage could be hit with higher taxes because of complications between the health care law and income tax law. I'm Tim McGuire, AP Radio News. They don't stop. One, two, three, four. Joe Radio. Yeah. 